My guests say their relationships are in trouble. Please welcome Lucas to the show. He says a game of strip pool has gotten him into hot water. Lucas, uh, what's going on? Hi, Jerry. Hey, uh, how you doing? <laughs> well, me and my girlfriend, we've been having problems. Yes. Okay. Um, I found a cute 18-year-old, and I figured, you know, I got an 18-year-old. We could have lots of crazy sex all the time, but that's not the case. Uh, she goes to bed at 8 o'clock just about every night, and I have to lay next to her and look at her half naked, uh, being beautiful, and I just want to have sex with her, and I can't. How about when she's awake? Are you intimate when you're awake? No, she, she don't like to be intimate. We've only had sex like four times. In the How four long have you been with her? Four months. So that could be 12 times a year. <laughs> but go ahead. And she always has an attitude, and she has a smart-ass mouth. She always gives me half answers about stuff, and I'm really, really sick of it. So one night, I was over at one of my uh, friend's houses shooting pool. And this girl that I kind of knew, I saw pool her a few times at bars, and I've seen yeah. her around a little bit, uh, she was there. And so I challenged her to a game. So we're shooting, and uh, she makes a bet with me. Uh, the next one to make a shot has to expose themselves to the other person. So I agree, and uh, I made the next shot. And so she showed me her boots. So go back to playing pool. She's uh, bent over the table, and I cannot help but look at her ass. She has some tight jeans on, and she looked good. <laughs> and so she gets done shooting, and I'm shooting, and she's a lot better of a pool player than me. So I ask her for a pointer. So she leans over uh, me and starts rubbing her boobs on me, and it just drove me crazy. <laughs> so, this sounds like a letter to the editor in Penthouse. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as I've been told that, I have no, I have no idea what these letters are. But go ahead, yes. So we get on shooting and we start talking a little bit. Yeah. It's kind of loud in there. There's like five or six other people in there. So she asked me if I want to go someplace more quiet and talk. Yeah. So I agree. So we go to the spare bedroom. I walk in. She walks in behind me, shuts the door. Is it fair to say that you had sex with her? Yes. All right. <laughs> so much for the pool game, which was totally irrelevant. <laughs> but OK, so why are you here? Uh, I'm here to leave my girlfriend. See, you can't leave your girlfriend unless you come to this show. <laughs> so for all the young ladies out there, if a guy says he's leaving you, it's not true unless he comes here. All right. So uh, now, does she, you think she loves you? Is she going to be shocked by this? I really believe so, yes. You've told her you love her? Yeah. Here she is. Here's Jen. I can't believe I wasted four months on you. You're such a loser! Hmm? Well, if you didn't act like you were 85, you wouldn't 85. be like that. Oh! 85 with a good right. You know what? I work, I pay all the bills, I put, I put you in a house, and what do you do? Is it true you, you, you make the money for both of you? Yeah, he so doesn't have a job. He plays pool. Does he get paid for that? No. Obviously, he gets paid by girls. What, what do you see in him? I thought he was a good guy. I made him wait three months, and he didn't cheat on me, at least I don't think. No, I waited until after you gave it up. <laughs> OK, here is Chelsea, the other woman. Do you, do you want to be with him? No, I don't. Then why'd you sleep with him? I was in the wrong. 
You were what? In the wrong. Oh, in the wrong. Oh, she's. Okay. Say you destroy a relationship and a friendship. It was a drunken night. Hey, you can't turn me down either. I'll turn you down right now. We'll be back. If you think that was wild and crazy, then click here to keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe. All you have to do is click here. And one more thing. Take care of yourself and each other.